Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to Lucky Corners in Workers and Republic Soviet Resources. And well, uh, we have here, uh, we have grain coming in, right? Uh, you know, getting harvested and everything. And that hopefully will get it all off the field before the snow flies in a month. And we're hoiking it down here with the um, train. And now I want to uh, create a uh, food production operation down here. Uh, as well as bringing the necessary uh, food supplies or crop supplies uh, in from that uh, Iron Town chemical crops. Yeah. So it comes from. Where is that? Okay, it comes from way over there. Okay. Uh, yeah. So we want to go. Want to get the uh, the crops from here since it's right here, right? So. Uh, I guess uh, okay I can take that out right so if I add this guy right and here we're going to get crops and we're going to load them Right, and here we're going to remove that stop, and here, yes, okay, accept changes. Yeah, so we only need to fill that bit up from over here, since we're bringing it in by train, right? Yeah, okay, so that's, uh, that's one step. Now, I need to also... Uh, set up a food factory operation over here. Now, uh, I think I can probably get four food uh, processing plants. Um, uh, food factory. Okay. I think I can possibly get four of these uh, across... Uh, across here okay yeah four of them is probably enough but I need the outputs as well yeah okay so so we do this no yeah uh, no no, 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 no. What we're going to do is... Right, okay. Try that again. Food. Okay, so I have an out on the bottom and two ins on the top. Okay. So I could put... Yeah, okay. So I could put one here. Uh... Cannot build too close. To, I could put one here, one here. I could get three across. Uh, and okay, I can get four of them. Yep, I can get four of them. Good. Uh, then on the output. I need to collect the food somewhere. Yeah, and I also need to be able to get roads uh, into these things. Yeah, that's going to be an interesting uh, conundrum, isn't it? Yeah, it kind of is. So I get so if I have four of these, and then okay, now where can I store? Uh, 
Uh, okay, so grain storage. Okay. Wait. Um, does this store anything other than grain? No. Okay, so I think I need a reasonably large warehouse here. Wait, how fast do uh, do food factories produce? Maximum production per workday, 20 tons of, fo of food. And they use 42 tons of crops. I can possibly... I can possibly do the export by forklift. Yeah, that could work. Okay. Yeah, that could possibly work. So... Uh, if I go and I look in here, and I look at, uh, no, uh, if I look at, okay, so I have a factory connection crossing, I have a forklift road crossing, aha, aha, that could, that could do it, okay. That could allow me to get uh, get everything right. And a forklift garage. So this uh, this will take eight. Okay, now I just need storage. Now, this warehouse could hold 800 tons of food, 550. Those are just crops, right? Uh, you know what? This one, uh, I think, yeah, yeah, I think this one. Okay, so if I put that there, right, then I need, um, okay, and now if I grab, um, no, look at this. Okay, I need to flip this one. Uh, okay. Uh, demolish that. Yep. Uh, so if we go for a food factory. Yeah, like that. Um, it doesn't flip. Ah, interesting. Uh... Okay. There we go. Yes, it does. You got to press the right button. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh that's about what I was uh, aiming for, I think. Yeah. Uh 
like that. Okay. So that would allow me to... I don't... Oh, well, then I don't need a forklift for those. So I can... Too long. Yeah, okay. Uh, clobber that. Okay. And if I flip these, flip one of these. Yeah, this one. Um, right, okay. Food factory. Uh, flip it. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, so that'll give me something. Now, let's see if I can get the okay, warehouse. If I can get Hmm. So, if I do this, can I get these ones to connect? That one connects. That one's too long. Ah. Okay. Okay, if I come up that far, was it really, was it just that far off? It was. Okay. Now, I need to get a road into here. Yeah, that, that is a question, isn't it? Well, uh, I suppose I could just bring a bridge across here, bring it up, okay. So if I was going to, so can I fit a road, I can fit a road through there, okay. So, so if I, did, yeah, so if I did that. And then bring a road up through here, right? Uh, then, if I go in here and I go for a, a concrete bridge, Ah, okay. So if we come up to, no, to here, can I get it across? No. Okay. Well, I suppose cancel that. Now. Um, grab the, the bridge. I think I have to go... Why does it insist on starting at the ground level? Really wish you could start a bridge up at... Uh... Okay, so... Yeah, okay. Now, can we get across here? Yep. We can get across here. Yep. Now, 
Really? Take that out. Okay. Now, uh, grab the bridge. Yes, okay. It's going to look horrid. Okay. So now, go back to a regular road. Um, okay. So that gets us a road into there. And a road out of here. Yep. And also, I'm going to need a road out of here. Which can come across like this. Yeah. Uh, this can just go straight up into there. Yeah. And this one... Yeah. Okay, so that's roads into there. Uh, I do, of course, need to get uh, workers in there as well. Uh, which I will do uh, separately. But let's just... Make that stuff not white. Train's waiting too long. Yeah. Uh, right. Okay. So that would that now leaves me needing to get workers in there. So I'm gonna need these. Yeah. So. I'm going to need to come off of the road here, up and over these, and down onto the road. Yeah. Or drop a bus stop out here. Yeah, I think that is the uh, solution. Okay. Well, you're not going to find a bus stop there, so go ahead and find one, you know, where it actually is. Bus stop. So if I put a bus stop right here, bam, and then we grab, no, uh, cancel that. Actually, just cancel that whole operation there, yeah. Then do it better. Yeah, like that. Then do this. And this. Right. That is better. Do it. Okay, so now I need a uh, path set up. So, so we'll start with a path setup that comes like this. Yep. Now, uh, I want to get under this. So, pedestrian underpass. So I want a yeah I want a uh, yeah I want you right about here yeah and then I want you right about here right now I need the tunnel. And bam. Okay. That'll get the tunnel into there. Now. Nope. I need this. And then this can come in. Come on. Like that. 
Okay, so that means if I bring workers in here, they'll be able to get to all four uh, food factories. Right. And then the food will accumulate in here, which we can get out by truck. Yeah. Yep, that's about right. So I guess uh, um, uh, let's do a batch auto construction in rubles. Blam. Look at the rubles go down. Uh, rubles go burr. <laughs> yeah, see, this, uh, uh, this is the sort of reason I'm going with the uh, pay for it with the rubles, since there's rubles to do it with. Because this would just be a bunch of faffing around either off screen or you know, 12 episodes, right? So uh, I also need to get the water sorted out for this. So this is going to be food uh, limit and it's going to be food. Yeah. Yeah, we're only going to put food in there. 1,600 tons of it. Uh, okay. So, uh, next up on this, uh, I'm going to put the cut here, basically. But next up, I need to get uh, water treatment up here. Uh, and that, uh, you know, just to get its own stable, separate water system up here. I, I need to get that going. So, we're going to need pure water for uh, food production. So, yeah, that will, uh, oh, uh, I should check, uh, do I have fire coverage there? Uh, that's going to be here. Fire. Where is the fire station? Oh, well, it's covered. Okay. Good. Uh, right. Well, uh, that's going to ultimately uh, be a operation to save uh, import costs. Uh, is if we uh, go in here and we look in... No, if we look in here and we go import of resources... Uh, from the Soviet block. If we ignore the construction materials, clothes is high, uh, meat is high, uh, relatively inexpensive, really. Um, oh, uh, I guess I want uh, last month. Okay. So, uh, food, 300K rubles meat 130k um, and we're not importing electronics because we got that going last time yeah how is that doing so we're selling electronics here right yep and down here uh, we have electronics to sell here yep and here yep only two Is that because we have one coming to do a delivery? I think we do. Yep. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay. So now if we check in on our electronics uh, thing up here. 
Uh, no, that's plastics. Our electronics. Yep, uh, we're keeping up with it. Good. Uh, so that's uh, that's all nice and uh, and peachy. Uh, this complex here will kick into gear uh, once I get the water situation sorted out, uh, which I will do uh, next time, assuming I remember. Well, I should remember because I have to do it to make things work. So uh, that's going to be all for this this episode. Uh, something uh, has been accomplished here. Uh, the uh, this setup, this is basically what I was planning to do all along. This could probably be done better, but you know what? I'm just going to uh, go with it. Uh, so this should be able to produce at max output, 80 tons of food per work day. And it's not gonna run at max output. So uh, we're, we're gonna end up with an overabundance of food and that is fine. Uh, then uh, once, once all of that uh, stabilizes, then maybe I'll get some, something like uh, uh, meat uh, production online as well, which I could say put in over here. Um, yeah, rejig this, uh, you know, uh, whatever. Uh, but I'll, I'll figure that out when the time comes. Anyway, uh, I'll just mention on the way out that I do have a Patreon. If for some reason you feel like you want to support the channel, well, that's an option. The link will be in the description. Uh, if you don't want to support the channel that way, that's fine too. The link will still be in the description, but then you could ignore it, right? Because then that, that costs you nothing, right? Uh, I also uh, should... You know, just mention the usual like, comment, subscribe business, which also costs you nothing. So, you know, you can do that if you want. And yeah, uh, I guess all that said, see you back next time.